Hello, welcome to Georgia B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using quite a few stamp sets. Very Vassal. And I'm going to be using the leaf, the words, and this one. I hadn't used this one before, but I'm using this one. This stamp set is carrying over. I am using Butterfly Gala. I'm not going to use it. I have used it. And I'm using one of these tiny butterflies, I think it's this one, along with the butterfly punch because I've already done them. Quiet Meadow for the splatter dots. Um, butterfly Gala for, no, Butterfly Brilliance for the two small butterflies which are already cut out and many messages which I've already cut out. I have got them in a box here thanks to a lovely subscriber she told me I need that one she told me what to do with them why is there a butterfly in there I don't know but uh, all my um, sentiments are now in here so I can just come to this box and get a sentiment out instead of cutting them all out again so yeah so that's the many messages I'll put that aside right the butterfly brilliance now I have got these I already did because when I made the card I um, stamped six Coloured in six and only used three. So we need that little one and we need another little one. I'm sure there's the other one. So that's my three little ones. I'm sure I've got another small butterfly here. There it is. And this is where I keep all of my big butterflies. God knows what I'm going to do with these, especially this big one. I will think of something for them. So yes. So there's my... Oh, I never did put that one away. So we've got our five butterflies, our sentiment, you can't see them there, there, which I'll keep to the side, and then we'll stamp everything else out. So, card stock, we've got one card, white card base, of eight and a quarter, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, and I have two pieces of basic white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the top and one for the inside, and a scrap of white for the this one. Don't know what you call it, but for that. So let's get started. We'll stamp that thing first. Because we have to fussy cut this out. And just stamp that there. Like that. So all we're going to use that for. We'll fussy cut that out later. Right, the front. Now we're going to stamp the script. And we're going to stamp it in the middle but to the left. Thank you. 
and then we've got the leaves which we're going to stamp in old olive and that is going to go down the left of the page or piece of card like that So we need that for. Oh, I've got some Costa Cabana here, and we need the brush and a scrap of paper because we're going to do some blending in of colour over the top of the script not a lot just enough to add a little bit of colour like that that's all we need And then with the um, ah, and there were splatter dots. Did I bring that? I never got them out. In Costa Cabana, we're going to put some there, some there, and some down there. That's all we're going to do. Right, that's our background done. So now it's a matter of placing all these on here and that when we cut it up I just roughly go around the edges of this take long to snip it out just go in and out so you've got a bit of a shape and it's not boring oval or around or whatever it is you think it might be And then we have to cut the centre out. I did that because it's easier to get in close to the centre.
All I'm doing is following the outline around. Tidy it up a bit. There we are. We have our little filigree thing. Right, now this is going to go on dimensionals, which is here. Put a big one there and a big one take it back it off. going to place that about there. And this sentiment is going to go over the top there and we need to put dimensionals on this one. So we want one on that end yet and we want two On this end for them to go there. Before I stick that on, I'm actually going to stick this on the base. inside and I'm not putting anything inside because you're congratulating somebody on something on their exciting news so this So I put glue on the piece that hasn't got dimensionals and place that like that. Right now we've got these two butterflies to colour in, but I'm going to release the antennas. That's all I seem to do on these butterflies. Just means lifting the wings a lot easier, make it lifting the wings a lot easier. Right, colouring in these two, all I did was use flirty flamingo and pink. So I coloured the whole butterfly in pink.
time you see this it'll be Friday the 30th and the following Tuesday is when the new catalogue is launched and you can get your hands on this set if you want it the dies are lovely you get a big die to cut all these plain butterflies out and then you get intricate dies as well right now with the flirty flamingo I just went up the side of the body Seems awfully dry. Let's use the dark. That's better. I think it's because it's on a dark spot of the butterfly stamping. I don't want it all straight, so that's why I went out a bit. And that is the way I coloured these little ones as well. They're all coloured the same. So, we just bend up our butterflies. And... Bend the wings over a bit. I don't think I put dimensionals on these today. No. All I did was glue the bodies and the this one went on there. And this bigger one went on the bottom of the card down here. Goes in the other way. I never coloured the bodies in. Right, I've got crumb cake. There we are. Now these tiny ones I put one up here and two down here like that All we've got to do is put some gems on. Now I have got my pearls. What have I got? Oh, I've got three pink ones. Now I'm going to use them. And for this one I put like a yellow pearl. Let's just use them, shall we? Rather than change. Let's see if I can find them. 
빼야 돼요. So small holes here. I think I'll put more on, never mind. Five on. And there we have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.